but we are gonna make a new character uh, and we're gonna play on the new one do we think do okay hang on I'm personally a forest farm girly um, what do you guys prefer I'm usually a forest farm girly but the new update is out so I feel like I'm kind of obligated to play with the new farm what do you guys think Oh, I can actually switch off my music and switch over to starting music. Here. I haven't played this game in three years. Damn. Um, the new one is super nice. Okay, okay. We'll play the new one then. I, I've seen a little bit of Gab Smolder's one, so... Let's go with he him pronouns for this farm. Let's do Athena. Um, wonder farms. That's what I call most places that I do. I do like wonder. My favorite thing. What is my favorite thing? Probably tea, but they changed it. So it like fills you with memories. Comes with two chickens if that helps. Oh, that does help actually. Coming with two chickens is really convenient. The new farm is super nice, yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll do this one then. Um, we'll also do a black cat. Um, so I have, back at my mother's house, I didn't get to take him with me, but I have a black cat named Salem, and I've had him since I was in high school. Like, since I was, I think, mm, 13. Actually, I was in middle school. I've had him since I was quite young, though, and he's, like, my baby he still lives with my mom right now um but yeah he's my my precious boy um i think my favorite thing is probably tea i drink so much tea like probably an unhealthy amount of tea eye color is fine let's make it pink My hair's a bit more of like a peachy sort of pink. I know that I like use like a sort of like proper pink in a lot of like characters that I use, but I, I do in fact, um, I have like peachy pink hair. I think we'll go with like dark gray pants. That's good. Uh, I did realize that we now have to sit through the character creation. kind of cute it's also kind of like i put my hair up a lot so let's see maybe if there's a good like hair in a bun option oh here we go oh that's not a bun yeah okay let's do this because i do put my hair up in in a bun or in a clip behind my head like very often it is like my go-to hairstyle Let's see if I can find something that kind of looks like a sweater because again, that's just what I wear in my everyday life. I do dress very differently from a lot of the characters that I make. They dress like super cutesy and shit. I wear like dark jeans and a hoodie most times or like a knit sweater. just like a cardigan isn't it i love wearing cardigans this is a might be an unpopular opinion i love wearing cardigans they are so comfortable okay i think this is good what do you guys think good vibes i think that's good ow my arm hurts Cardigans are great. They're so comfortable. And for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. 
There will a day, there will come a day when you feel crushed by this burden of modern life. Oh, I full screen it. That's better. I'm new. Have you played Stardew before? I have. And your spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. I play it on my Switch a lot. Um, and I've played it on computer like a couple of times, but this is like my first time doing a full playthrough. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let grandpa rest. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've played Stardew before. I have like some little like cheat sheets that I like to use, like that help me with like relationship and like remembering what goes in the freaking community center um but i've never like done a serious full playthrough other than like my chill world that i have on my switch that's like not very efficient at all this with the eye bags and the eyes shut trying to like look at a computer that is me all the time uh this is just spiritually is me Dear Thena, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Wonder Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now, it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I think I can shrink my PNG tuber a little bit. She's taken up a lot of space, and you know, she doesn't really need to be. Here we go. Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles. Hello, you must be Thena. Ugh, let me scoot closer to the, the desk. Also, can you hear the game all right? Is it like an okay volume? Just a little, little check in on that. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lyra Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. It's all good? Okay, good. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. This is Wonder Farm. Yeah, geez, it's kind of a mess. <laughs> What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. I'm gonna give most of these people a southern accent, so prepare for southern Athena. She's here, and she is a threat. Welcome, I'm Mayor Lewis. I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. I just think they should have southern accents. It makes sense in my head, okay? They're gonna be southern. I'm gonna be the one person with a Canadian accent in this entire town. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Oh, I'm sorry, I bonked my mic. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. 
It's a good house. Very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. <laughs> Crusty might be a little more apt though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Athena. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you buy one of her house upgrades. I know I keep making this comparison, but seeing this mess reminds me of pal Paleo Pines. I don't know what that is. What is that? I just take on the persona of young Clark Kent, and I go, this is Kent Farms. That's all that happens when I play farm games. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Actually, I am going to cut down so many logs. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Yeah, 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 I'll do that. The townspeople would appreciate that. Uh-huh. See, here's the thing, chat. Um, I think we're gonna do a spinster run and get Krobus as a roommate. Um, because that's just my kind of vibe. Also, Krobus reminds me of my partner. Take that as you will. It's a farming game on the Switch where you can take dinos to help you. What? Now I have to look into that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. When do you sleep, Mary Lewis? Well, good luck. Can you tame dinos to help you? That's so cool. Okay, ooh, this is new. This house is different. I like it. Okay, I got hay. No parsnips needs this, parsnip seeds this time. Why does he need to collect things after 2 a.m., right? Like, why are you awake at three in the morning, Mayor Lewis? Um, let's check the TV. Tomorrow it's going to be clear. Yep. Uh, fortune teller. What are the vibes? They're annoyed? That's okay, the mines are not open. Oh yeah, by the way, chat, I'm a little, little wuss. So we don't go to the mines unless the vibes are good. Welcome to living off the land. We're back here again for another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for you green horns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Thank you, southern lady. Okay, this hay is for what? Let me look at the map. Uh-huh, okay. Can I name them? <gasps> Chat, what should we name our, our chickens? So far the mines are brittle. Yeah, I'm a little, little wussy. I'm not good at um, combat in any game, actually. What should we name our chickens? I don't know what to name the chickens. Quick, give me a name. Comet and Saturn? That's great. Thank you, Hey Hey. Also, hi. Comet and Saturn. Perfect. Okay. I am going to put some hay here, even though they can go eat the grass outside. Um, but, like, just in case. In case I, like, forget to put hay here. Charles, just to mess with Sherbert. Maybe the next one. Next chickens can be named all the planets? Yeah, that would be cute. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I just wanted to hit the one. Whoopsies. The 
chickens are eating the grass. Yeah, they do that. The blue grass is apparently really good for them. Um, okay, let's reorganize the inventory a little bit. Um, axe, pickaxe. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. My chat was very upset for accidentally killing the grass. I didn't know. Yeah, no, you have to wait till you have a silo. And then once you have a silo, you take out the grass and it turns into hay. Um, but it's also just good to kind of leave it. Um, Cause then your uh, animals will eat it. Especially the blue grass. Oh, I'm on the wrong tool. That's why that would do it. Okay. So we didn't, we don't get any starter plants um, on this one, which is interesting. I guess we get like money from eggs and stuff, but I guess then that means that we get to do what I'm best at, which is um, foraging. That is my best thing. I am a flower picker in Minecraft and in Stardew Valley. So let's see, let me look at the, the rest of the farm. How big is this place, you know? You get hay instead for the chickens. Yeah, no, exactly. Uh, but I just wanna like do a little looky-loo. Damn, this place is huge. Okay, where's the area with um, Marnie and stuff? Because that's where the foraging is good. Okay, here we go. Hey, Jazz. Um, let's see if I can go introduce myself to Marnie real quick as well. She's a good person to have as a friend because she will just send you stuff. God damn it, Marnie. Um, let me... I can just see better down here. I like to zoom out when I'm down here because it's easier to see like if I'm missing any forageable stuff. Find it very helpful. She's a good friend to have if you catch her at the right moment. Yeah. That is the issue. Jamie's kind of cracked because they have like most of the Stardew characters' schedules memorized. I could never. Specifically Sebastian because they love him. Um, it's spring, so let's check for spring onions over this way. Yeah, I know my stuff. There we go. Sprunions, so true. Okay, well that's good. That'll get me some money. Um, not much, because spring onions aren't worth as much as they could be until you befriend Vincent. Then they're worth, like, way more. But, um, it's a good, good, good thing to have at the beginning. Oh, Jesus.
No, not that. Just this. There we go. See, I'm used to playing on the Switch where you have to face the direction where you need to hit. In this one, you just need to put your mouse where you want to hit. Which I think will take me a little bit to get used to. Okay, wait, if this is the path up, then where's the cave with Demi that Demetrius fills with mushrooms? And it will be mushrooms because, yeah. Okay. There's the greenhouse. Where's the cave? You can also turn on the box to see where you're hitting. Oh, right, I forgot about that box. You're so right. Always show tool hit location. Thank you. stuff is the ducks will swim in this river won't they that's like a thing the cave is on the right side sort of in the middle okay thank you yeah no i am gonna rely on you guys to like keep me on track and you can check your map to see the cave, can I? See, but like, it's not very zoomed in. You know what I mean? I can't really see what's going on on the map because it's kinda... The amount of stumps is really nice though because we're gonna be able to actually collect hardwood pretty well. It's at the left of where the hut is. The hut. The what? The green one. You are giving me so many directions and I'm understanding none of them. Is it on the top? Oh, okay, I see it. Touche. I was I was looking for it at the top because that's where it usually is. I'm a fool. Thank you, chat. Okay. So it's kind of like down this way. Yeah, okay. So here's the cave. And then, okay, got it. I don't know what that's for yet. What, what's for? The green hut. What green hut? What do you speak of? The cave. Oh, the cave is for mushrooms. And it will be for mushrooms because it's just the better option. Thought you were talking about the mines. No, I don't mean the mines. I meant this cave. I know where the mines are. They're uppies. all good we found it okay let's uh toss these spring onions in here uh yeah 
And also, let's make a chest. I didn't get any mixed seeds from all the, the swooping I was doing. Oh, there we go. Now I get mixed seeds, of course. Let's see if I can pick up a couple of them before I go to bed. Am I really just the one? Huh. Mushrooms are the better option. They are, because you can grow fruit trees. It's just really hard to find mushrooms generally. Damn, that was like unlucky as hell. Well, might as well plant this one. There we go. Single plant. Well, that's day one. We did it, we did day one. And that's 80 gold, so that's not bad. Also, thank you Luna Quake for the follow, gaming cookie. Uh, did I miss anybody else? No, I'm good. I'm all caught up now. Uh, yeah, and my alert box is on. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think today is the day where we go into town. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I'm terrible at fishing, Lewis. I, or Willie, you're not Lewis, you're Willie. Let me go pet my chickens and then I'll go into town. Yeah, look at them. I love that menu. That is like the best thing they added to the update, I, in my personal opinion. wanted amethyst there is no way i'm gonna get that done this week mines aren't even open yet oh that was good hi athena I haven't come to a stream for a while hope you're doing well i am doing well thank you the few tabs they added to the game are great yeah no like it's just really good I'm so pleased with this specifically. Okay. So, also we, in this household, we do function like little trash goblins. Uh, and I will be digging through the trash of everyone's house like a little raccoon. And you can't stop me. Um, Shane, 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 Shane. Yeah, fuck you too. Sorry, I don't like Shane. Hi, Cat How! Hello! Welcome on in! Everyone's open at 9. Hey, Trash Goblin. Yeah, we function like a raccoon here. That's why we have the raccoon, Athena. Um, emote. There's a reason I made that. That's just because it's the most. It's my final form, you know? It's my tr most true representation of self. Ciao. So true. Hey, Mario. Yeah, I am the new one. Oh, I should be reading these. I'm sorry, chat. I was not reading these. I'm Mario. I've been looking forward to meeting you. I think that Mario and Demetrius don't have southern accents. This is my personal headcanon. I think they might even be a little British. 
Don't know why. Just vibes. Oh, 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 oh. Alex. Oh, hey. So you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Yeah, I'm the new guy. But I don't like your sexism. Real. Thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad that you, you vibe with it. <gasps> oh my god! She has a nurse's outfit! That's so cute! Because I think that was like only a thing in Expanded for a bit, wasn't it? Or am I just like forgetting? But I feel like that was only a thing in Expanded for a little bit. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do nine because I have one wild seed. She reminds me of the nurse from Pokemon. Yeah, Nurse Joy. We'll do nine of these. No, we'll do 10. We'll do 10 because yeah. Um, I'm gonna do one bean starter because those things grow back. I am going to sell you my daffodils and leeks right here, right now, because then I get instant money. Um, Let's do five cauliflower seeds, and I think that's good for now. We'll come back for potatoes. Because I know I need all of this. Oh wait, actually, let me let me say hello to you, actually, also. Cause I always forget to do that, because I talk to you over the counter. Hey, it's Mr. Thena, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner, owner of the general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. Also, I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Yes, you will, sir. Actually, you will buy it for such a good price. Caroline is also up there. Yeah, but I can't get there, can I? I can't go through this door. Can I go through this door? Oh, I can go through this door. Caroline! Hello, you must be Thena, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hi, Caroline. You can. I didn't know I could go through that door. Abigail! Gotcha. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving on to that old farm. I also think it's really funny because um, Abigail and Sebastian are objectively more like alt punk slash goth kind of energy, and I just think it's really funny to make them speak with a southern accent. <gasps> oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Hi, Jody. Emily! Oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon, that's where I work. Evelyn, Granny Evelyn. Why, hello there, and welcome to our little community, dear. Crystal Muncher, so true. You can call me Granny if you like. I will, because you're perfect in every way. <gasps> Marnie. Ah, mailers told me you arrived. I'm Marnie. Hi, Marnie. I see that my friend is also playing Stardew. I just got a little notification that says that she's playing Stardew. Uh, okay, Mayor Lewis, you're doing stuff over there. Saloon doesn't open for another little bit. I love Marnie's hair so much. Me too. Is Haley home? No. Okay. The tavern is objectively the best place to meet people. Um, but before we go down to the tavern, I'm gonna go and see Willie. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. I don't know if my voice can handle going that low, but we'll see. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. 
And here, maybe I'll buy something from the shop once in a while. I will, actually. I will be buying so many trapper thingies and, and bait and whatever because I'm bad at fishing. You received a bamboo pole. There's some good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so if you come by, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. I don't know what this accent is. It might be Scottish. But that's that's what he gets because it's what I associate with fishermen and pirates. I don't know why. Let's do one. Oh no, I literally don't have any space in my inventory to go fishing, actually. Actually, I can throw this out because I'm not going to use it for anything right now. Not until I have my recycly thing on the bobber. Let's do one one fishing. Just one. Yar, exactly. He's the type of guy to call me lad. You know what I mean? He said be like, Alahoy there, lad. I, I, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. And I also pressed the wrong button. Oh, hey, that wasn't bad. I am not good at fishing, I will say. Sardine, I need that for the thingy, right? Do I need this? Now I'm just imagining Mr. Krabs. Oh no! Wait, you have a point! Do I need this for the thingy? For the, the what's it? Sardine? Sardine goes in the, in the place, right? I think it goes in the place. I'm like pretty sure it goes in the place. I don't have any space in my inventory for this stuff. I'll be back. In the community center. That's what I was trying to say. I couldn't remember the words. Because if not, I'll sell it. But I think it does. Okay, nobody's here yet. I can go plant the stuff I have. I love peeps who call people lad. Me too. It's just a good vibe. Okay, let's go plant this stuff and then we can go back to the saloon and meet people. It's been so long, but I used to be the de facto fisher boy of our squad. Yes, yeah, see, that's not me. I'm the forager. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and let's get rid of that. Let's do cauliflower first. And then Okay, parsnips like this And then the bean starter right there I love when things are neat and tidy. Chat, can you tell I have OCD? No, that's not what I wanted to press. I don't know anything about Stardew, so I'm gonna trust the other chatters. Yeah, no valid. Farm! So true. Okay, that's good. Let's put this away and that away. I think I need this, right? I'm pretty sure I need this for the community center. Put that away too. Um, let me. Yeah. I enjoy Stardew. Me too. Thank you, Gremlin King, for the follow. I really appreciate it. But come on in. 
I need to update my alerts. They need to be a different thing. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Yes, I am. She's a Southern Belle. That's her entire personality. Trust me, source, trust me. Okay, hey Pam. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Yes, I'm aware. Okay, move, I need to go behind the counter and say hi. Well, hello there, I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Source, yeah, yeah. She's so pretty too, yeah. The silly little voices you have for everyone makes me so happy. I'm glad. Just a mushroom duck. Oh my gosh, you're back. My Stardew Encyclopedia. Definitely a sheriff in another life. Oh yeah. The duck wiki is back. I appreciate you in ways you will not understand. The sardine goes in the community center, right? You know things. You are a knower of things and stuff. Have I seen Harvey yet? Robin. One of my favorite fun facts is that Sebastian is a redhead. He dyes his hair black, but he is in fact a redhead. Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, the local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. That's how he talks in my head. Sebastian, Sebastian, slow down. Stop running. I need to speak with you. Oh, you just moved in, right? cool he no longer has a southern accent because he trained himself not to have one linus i gotta go see linus sebi my beloved my dark prince my emo king yeah a stranger Hello. He's a quiet voice. He is Southern also, because he lives here and has lived here his entire life. Hang on, let me pause for a second. I need to adjust the way I'm sitting. My posture is awful. There we go. Okay. Linus, yeah, he's perfect in every way. Let's um, plant these wild seeds as well. Do I need these? I need these, right? I think I need these. I'm like pretty sure I need those. Let me check my little, little pocket guide. Oh yes, okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, hang on, let me make sure I'm still on track. 
I do have a handy dandy little guide on my phone that tells me what I need for the community center. Which is very helpful. Okay, yeah, we're good. We are thriving. Duck Wiki here to help. I appreciate you. Okay. It's raining. I don't need to water my plants. It's epic. Okay. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff in my backpacks full. Does that sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. I do not have the money for that, Pierre. Oh, so instead of the parsnips, it's harvest an egg. Handy. Introductions. How am I, am I doing? Okay. 28, 20 out of 28. Okay. This I can manage. Let's also put these away for now. Let's go check on the chickens. <gasps> Egg! Egg! Hi! My good boys! Comet? That's not what I meant. And Saturn! You can use daffodils for a lot of different things. Yeah, daffodils are good for gifts. I know that too. Okay, egg. Okay, what else should I get done today? Because today is the third. I wanna see gifts and dyes and sewing. Okay, I didn't know that part. Um. Who am I missing? Who do I need to locate? Okay, you I can find, you're probably at your house. You uh, are either at your house or at the library. You're gonna be in your room until like six, I think. Clint, I can probably find. Mm-hmm. Elliot's gonna be inside today because it's raining. You can also put them in salads. Oh, good to know. Oh, I think Ghosty said something about that, actually. Oh no, isn't it dandelion salad? Dandelion is, is a salad thing, isn't it? I don't think daffodils you can eat. It's both? Oh, okay. Good to know. I know you can't eat sap. Yeah, that's true. You can eat most of the forageable stuff. This will give you zero energy, though. Unless you put it in a salad, which I have now learned. And yes, it's also for a bundle. Yeah. That's the spring foraging bundle. Penny. Hi, queen. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Hi, Penny. Penny, don't look. I don't need to meet Gunther, technically. I have way too many hours in this game. Ballad of you. Er, uh, hi, I'm Clint. Yes, nice to meet you, sir. Anyway. Hey. George. Okay, let's go see George.
I always forget that he's their grandson. Huh. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? It is. I agree. Name's George, by the way. Now bug off. Yes, sir. Okay, that's 23. Vincent, my dear boy. You gonna go see Marnie? I know you are. George is such a vibe. Yeah, he is. Vincent. Wait, where's Vincent? Hang on now. I can give this to Sam. He loves this stuff. George like leeks, yeah. And also peppers, right? The hot peppers. Maybe Vincent's over this way? got some new ideas on sleep. What do you mean? Hot peppers for a paste for his legs, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 that's it. This is a big tree. Huh. I'm gonna guess that my axe is not strong enough for that, but that's a big ass tree. Where the fuck is Vincent? Is Penny teaching Vincent in the library? Maybe, but I thought I would have passed him on his way. But well, we will go look. not here. Huh. Hmm. Odd. Okay, let me run down to the beach and pick up some stuffs. I know I don't have much inventory space, but I have just enough. <sighs> did you go home when I wasn't looking? Yes, you did. Oh, stranger, my name is Vincent. Mom says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Your mama is right, and also smart. What up, Sam? Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Yeah, have this Coke. Thanks, I really like this. I know. This is for Emily. I want to be her best friend. She's so weird. I love her. 
Speaking of weird girls, um, <laughs> me, but also I've been playing a lot of um, Ace Attorney again because I love Ace Attorney, like, so much. You don't even know how much I love Ace Attorney. Um, but I really love Ace Attorney. Um, no, don't eat it. Give it to Emily. Um, but I, I really love Ace Attorney, and, um, I am so, like, I will never actually be able to play through the Miles Edgeworth investigations, because they are so long, but I love Kay Faraday with my whole heart. She's just a weird little girl. I love when, I love how the two lawyers, uh, Edgeworth and Phoenix, uh, just adopt their weird little girls. The entirety of, of Miles Edgeworth's investigations uh, is just him being like, hang on, let me consult my weird little gals. Uh, and he just is with Emma and Kay all the time. I love Emma Sky also. She's great. Great character. An icon, truly. Mm. I love those gay lawyers with my whole heart. Would you guys be interested if I did an Ace Attorney playthrough? I would do silly little voices also. But would that be something that you guys would want to see? Yes? Okay. Because I, I am an Ace Attorney fanatic. I fucking love those gay lawyers. Always? Yeah. No, I love, I love Ace Attorney. It's just a vibe. Um... Why did I think that there was something in the top right corner? I, I don't know. But we're gonna scooch my my sub goal back over. I don't know why I thought something was gonna be there. But I can put my stuff back. Ace attorney, if you will. I will, actually. I will, in fact. Um... I do had Canon Maya as Ace as well. She's like Sapphic and Ace. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I know I need these for the thingy, the bundles. I figured how to speak English on a regular basis, chat, and you're just gonna have to bear with it. Okay, is there anyone else I can get today? Maybe if I head to the saloon, I might run into Leah. She's kind of hit and miss, though. Okay. Elliot will be inside all day, though, because it's raining. And he doesn't leave his house when it's raining. Which is, you know, kind of based of him. With that long-ass hair. I, I kind of understand. His long, luscious locks. He can't have them getting wet. He's the kind of guy to have, like, a hair routine. You know what I mean? I'm also the kind of guy to have a hair routine, but like. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Nice to meet you, Harvey. Leah, you're here. Perfect. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hey, Leah. Leah's the type of woman to listen to Carrie Underwood. Send tweet. It's just Elliot now. Okay, so tomorrow I can go see Elliot, and then I will have won. And by won, I mean, uh, I will have met, I met everybody. Clint? Homie? How do you do? Can't remember the last time I cut my hair. It's so long. I cut my hair, like, a few days ago, actually. Uh, because it was, it was starting to get too long for me. And also, if I don't cut it, it kind of gets, like weighed down so I um I cut it and I gave myself some layers it turned out pretty well actually I'm very proud of it uh let's cut down this tree actually no I'm gonna leave that there because I'm gonna put a tree tapper on it when I can That is an oak tree? Yeah. And then this is maple. 
This one I can cut down though. I think we'll probably finish out this week and then I'll end stream. I don't want to aggravate my headache any more than I already have. I do have a, a migraine disorder, so sometimes I just kind of am in pain for extended periods of time. Okay. Yeah, level one foraging, perfect. Perfect. A solid haul. We can go pick up some potatoes. Actually, let me check on the luck today. And living off the land, yeah. Welcome to living off the land. We're back with another tip for y'all now, listen up. This one's for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions in the southwest of town. I already did that, lady. Where the river meets the ocean, you can sometimes find a whole bunch grown right out of the dirt. I already did that. I should probably check again, though. It's been a bit. Okay. Let's... Go down... What time is Elliot? I'm debating making a crown just because I'm bored. Always. You should always have a crown. And I live by that. Book! I own seven crowns. You can never have enough. I am an enjoyer of crowns. Like I said, sleepy stardew. <laughs> hey Willie, how do? Ahoy there. It's nice to see the young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. So true, King. Bit. I don't know if I need that, but we'll find out. Elliot, my good sir, my good hermit, come out of your goddamn house. Thank you, Slay Queen, for the follow. I really appreciate it. Welcome on in. Hang on, we are gonna Google Elliot's schedule because he is so hard to catch. Leaves his cabin at noon, okay. So we can kind of, let's, let's, let's fish until noon, I think. Maybe I can actually get better at fishing. I'm quite terrible at it, in Stardew specifically. He was not on that. That's okay. The schedules are hard to memorize.
I do have, I do this thing where I write little, little guides for myself in my little bullet journal for the games that I, I play. Like I have all of the fire emblem, like likes and dislikes. I have all of the stuff I need in, um, what's it? Uh, uh, Animal Crossing. All written down and stuff like that. Like I am a nerd and I write those little guides. I might do a stream where I take you guys through my guides and work on some of them actually. That might be fun. On spring on Monday, he leaves his house and goes to the forest. Which is near Leah's house. Yeah, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. On Thursday, he's at Pierce General Store from 11. Wait, what? Okay, good to know. Thank you. I have a Google Doc of all the villagers. So valid of you. improving I think which is neat I've never been good at fishing in Stardew Pierce General Store from 1130 okay so then he should probably leave his his house soon right Got him. Thank you, Ducky. I really appreciate it. And uh, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. I think he has a low sultry voice. I have no proof of this. Just think so. Give someone a gift. I have been giving people gifts. You don't even understand. Anyways, Willie, you want to fish? Where'd Willie go? Are you inside? You are. Have a fish. Feeding animals. Okay, silo is our next order of operations, which means I need stone like i think a hundred or something i need a bunch of stone and i need clay which is going to be the harder of the two to get um oh i also need copper i need copper i need five copper bars these things i do remember um hey stop that yuck no it's the same play same way i play honkai star rail uh which is to say that i dig through the trash at any given opportunity Ooh, an acorn! Do you want the numbers? Yes, please. I would love the numbers. Okay, wait, since I've met five people, is it, is it that I have to meet all the people before the community center or does it open on day five? I think it's day five, right? A lot of things open up on day five. 100 gold, 100 stone, 10 clay, and five copper bars. Perfect. Okay, day five. Thank you. So then we need to start collecting clay. Did I water these today? I didn't. Athena, who's your favorite, favorite character from Stardew Valley? Probably Emily. Um, she's just 
a vibe, but Krobus is a close second. To open the community center, character must enter Pelican Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's not raining between 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. Okay, got it. After day five, right? Yeah, okay. Perfect. It's not raining tomorrow, is it? Is it going to rain tomorrow? Better fucking not. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. That's what I like to hear. Okay, let's sell, uh, wait, let me check my little handy dandy thingy mobber. Okay. Fish. River fish, I do need this. I don't need this. So I do need the, the this thingy, the sunfish. I need this thing. Okay, then these two I can sell. I don't need a halibut. Right? I don't need. I don't need a halibut. Hang on. Duck wiki here to help. Thank you. Yeah, no, I don't need a hell of it. Okay, we're good. Okay, so I can sell this thingy. forage for a bit. The bundles are something I always have to use my Google Doc for. I can remember some of it, um, but I also have like little guides on my phone, like pretty little picture guides. Get the clay you need no not yet i don't have clay yet i've been looking for the little roots worm thingies whatever they are that pop out of the ground those sometimes have clay in them um and i'll probably find some in barrels in the the mines as well ah spring onions epic Okay, perfect. Let's go this way, actually.
I'll also probably upload this as a, a VOD. Um, so this will be on YouTube. I'll probably have my Stardew playthrough on YouTube. Um, Because it's going to be pretty, like, chill editing-wise. Like, I don't really need to cut anything out. Look at all the money we made. My progress has been saved. Okay. I know I said that we were going to finish out the week, but my migraine is has a vengeance today. So I think that we are going to uh, end here. And then next episode, we can start up with the community center. <laughs>